Ravit Moy Druzi. Hello, my friends. My name is Darren Gertis. I am a professor who tries to give you some context about the war in Ukraine. Here I want to show you just a, a one-minute video about the Crimean Bridge, and I'm going to stop and pause periodically and talk about it. Uh, as you know, the Crimean Bridge was struck about seven months ago. It is now fully operational again. It took them seven months to get this to happen, and they called it a terrorist uh, incident at the time. Now, this wasn't a terrorist incident. This was a, one nation at war with another. Regardless of it, they call it a special military operation. They were at war, and this was a key supply route, and so that was not a terrorist incident. Incidentally, in a couple of days, I'm going to be doing a video about defining our terms, like what is a war? What's a special military operation? What is a terrorist event? Those kind of things. Okay, so um, enough of belaboring that. Let's watch the video and see what RT had to say about the Crimean Bridge. The Crimean Bridge is stronger than ever after a failed attack. Well, it wasn't actually a failed attack. It was a pretty successful attack because it, it took out a big portion of the bridge and made it very difficult for them to do what they were trying to do. President Putin opened the Crimean Bridge five years ago with the words, It makes Crimea stronger and us closer to each other. Of course, this was Crimea, which they had just taken over in 2014, by a ballot that seems a little shady, let's say it that way. Uh, Ukraine terrorist attack in October 2022 destroyed part of the bridge which collapsed into the Kerch Strait. However, despite the severe damage, the bridge was not put out of action and Russia stood strong. Like, you know, this was a, actually a big black eye, and the entire world understood what a big black eye this was, but they're only saying it that, like, and it, we were always strong, and we were we prevailed, and, and there's never a narrative in any Russian media that there's ever anything bad that happens to them. It's, it's really remarkable to read. So the bridge was, they stood strong. Repair work began immediately, and the bridge remained operational. And it, there was limited traffic that could go through. That is true. Now, that repair work operated immediate, began immediately, and it took them seven months to get here. That's hardly a great you know, sign of some kind of amazing strength. The bridge was fully repaired in May, showing the world that the unity re uh, it represents can never be destroyed. I'm, I'm not sure that that's exactly the message. Now, this here, what you're seeing is Putin driving over the Kerch Bridge for some bizarre reason. When he opened the bridge, they they showed him um, going over the bridge, driving over the, as a passenger. I'm not sure why. Amazing. He can drive a car. And we can see his eyes in the rear view mirror. It's phenomenal. The Crimean Bridge, stronger than ever after the failed attack, I'm not sure that it's extra strong or anything, and it's now within range of long-range missiles from Ukraine, because they just got them from the UK. So it's about time for something like that to happen again. If I was a betting man, I would say it won't be very long. I can't predict the future. My crystal ball is too murky but it's probably going to be hit again before long. So that's all about the Crimean Bridge, and I hope that gives you some insight and perspective into how Russian media advertises or twists or, or the narrative that they try to put forward about what's actually happened in Ukraine. It's never the facts. It's always a particular narrative that they want you to embrace. Thank you for watching me, and thank you for caring about Ukraine.